Okay, in this video we'll talk quickly about how to deal with equations when you have variables on both sides. Now usually uh, one of the variable coefficients will be larger than the other. So here we have 10x plus 5 and here we have, notice it's 3x plus 9. So it's usually a good idea to subtract the smaller coefficient from the larger to avoid negative numbers. So here when I have 10x plus 5 equals 3x plus 9, my first step is to subtract 3x from both sides, right? Okay, and then I rewrite my equation, this cancels out, and I get 7x plus 5 equals 9. I could have done it the other way, but 3x minus 10x would give me a negative number, and that would require the last step to divide or multiply by a negative value. It's, it's just one extra step. And now I subtract 5 from both sides, and usually these kind of problems will follow that order. Well, now you have 7x equals uh, 9 minus 5, or 4. And lastly, when we solve 7x equals 4, we divide both sides by 7. right? And x is equal to 4 7th. That would be your answer here, because these two 7s cancel out. So these kind of steps work, seem to work very nicely. First, subtract both sides by the smaller coefficient and variable. Right? That's kind of your first step. Then subtract both sides by one of the numbers. It's got to be the number next to your variable here. So here I have plus 5. It's next to the x, or this, wherever the variables are located. I want to isolate that variable. Subtract 5 from both sides. And then your last step is going to be to divide by this coefficient. So often, you know, you can see these in your head. If you had, and I don't always want you to do this, so I want you to balance the equations, but also there's nothing wrong with, you know, tapping into your algebraic intuition here. We're going to subtract the two numbers, smaller from larger, so 9 minus 5 is 4, and we're going to subtract the two um, variable terms, smaller from larger, and that's 7x. So you can mentally picture the difference between the two numbers and the difference between the variable terms, put them on the right sides, and then divide by the coefficient. So usually in my head I think, oh, it's 10x minus 3x, that's 7x, and 9 minus 5, that's 4. So it's going to be 4 over 7, because in the last step, 7x equals 4, x is going to always equal 4 divided by its coefficient, the number next to the variable. So that's an intuitive way to think about it. I would, I would balance it first, and then, or using your intuition first, and then check it with balancing or the vice versa, but make sure you're practicing the balancing of the equation as well. Thanks.